43. Remember ye not the what? Former things, neither consider things of the old. Can 10 people say amen? amen? Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Look what the New Living Translation says about that verse. Look what it says. It says, but forget about all of that. <laughs> it is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Come on, say amen. You, you think God has blessed you in the past, but this right here is going to blow your mind. It, you, you think God has fed you and clothed you and kept you in your right mind and blessed you. God said, forget about all that. I'm about to do something that's going to blow your mind. Come on, say amen. Come on, y'all. This is a current word. This is a right now word. This is a fresh word. God is about to do something in Liberty House that is going to blow everybody and their mama's mind. It's been in the spirit, but God about to reveal it to the children of God. And God said, when I reveal it, I'm going to let the world see it. And all you got to do is show for my praise. Hallelujah. First thing I want to tell y'all today, watch this. It's on the screen. Don't live in the past. Tell somebody, don't live in the past. He says, watch this. Ye remember not the former things, neither consider the things of the old. See, at times, watch this, we can't see the new things that God is doing because we are living in the good old days. Come on, y'all. Uh, blinded by the past. God says, but forget about all of that. Paul, now, he backs it up and says, forgetting those things that are behind and I'm reaching for those things that are before I press. Come on, y'all. Do I got anybody in here got a spirit of pressing? I come to tell you, God will bless you with your press. God will, will cause your enemy, glory to God, to be at peace with you because you're pleasing him with your press. Tell somebody, I'm on my press. I'm on my press. I ain't got time to look back of the things that I used to do. Good old days, that was then, but this is now. God is about to show up and do something in our lives. God says, but forget about all of that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Mm. That's a good word. Here now in the context, we're looking at the people of God, Israel, and again, they were despondent because they were rebellion against God. You know their story. Every time they will get in captivity, they will call on God, and God will come and rescue them, and then they will go back and do the same thing. It's a type of us today. Amen. We'll get into some stuff. We'll rebel. We'll get in some trouble, and we'll call God. God, allow us to stay in it for a little while to teach us some stuff then eventually he loves us so much he brings us back in but the reason he allow us to go through those trials and go through captivity and go through punishment because it's a redemptive plan God wants to bring you back to himself any way he can any type of pain he allow you to go through any type of calamity he'll get you in a place where you ready to pull your wig off come on say amen and snacks oh, I ain't got no help here he'll do whatever he got to do to get you back to himself. He will allow stuff to fall. He will allow people to walk away. He will allow your body to get messed up so you can open up your mouth and say, Lord, I need you right now. Can you come and rescue me? Come here, David. David was in a well of depression in a pit, but God says, Lord, David, I can't let you stay there because I got something for you to do. And God rescued him out of that pit of despair. So the people of Israel now, they were in captivity. And not only they were in captivity, how they were in captivity was a situation that's unexplainable because they were around a desert land. Even if they were got rescued from their captors, they would have died in the desert. So God says, listen here, neither remember the things of, of the past. Glory to God, I'm about to do a new thing. Behold, glory, see what I'm about to do. You're going to spring for I'm going to give you ways in the desert and I'm going to make rivers in the desert. The beast of the field going to honor me. The dragons and the owls going to honor me because of what I'm going to do for you in this desert. 
yes and glory to God because you are my chosen people and you're going to spring forth and you're going to show forth praises unto me glory to God how you can know how what kind of God is that would give you rivers in a desert glory to God if the people of God would have got out of captivity they would have died in the desert but God says don't worry about it and they was back there thinking about oh God you were the God you're not answering me no more we're in this captivity you're not coming and get us and they begin to think about the old times and, and how God brought them out of Egypt and how God brought them through the Red Sea and how, how God gave them the promised land and how God caused them to stand when their country split it glory to God they were saying God where are all the miracles glory to God that you gave in our forefather we sitting here ready to die and God said watch this here I ain't left you there I still love you neither glory to God consider the things of the old behold I will do a new thing I will make a way in the wilderness and I will make rivers in your desert you shall not be thirsty when you're coming out of here and the owls and the beasts and the dragons will give me praise for what they see I do for my chosen people I ain't got no help here in other words the enemy is going to give they going to honor God for what God's doing for you if you can just stay right there where you are God going to show even your enemies that he's a good God.